Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lurcy and today I'm going to show you a quick little workflow tip uh, to use in Photoshop and that's using groups. If you look down here at the bottom of your layers palette, see this little folder, that is the groups icon. Let me show you how that works. Let's take, uh, for example, the, the drop shadows here under the, under the three models. I'm going to turn them off one at a time, you can see them disappear. They're each a separate layer right here. What I can do is I can highlight all three. I'm going to do that by holding down command or uh, control on the PC, clicking all three, and then dragging it down to that folder. And now it's made a group. I can rename that group shadows. If I look inside, there's the three shadows. Now what I can do is I can move all the shadows around together, or I can change the opacity of them together all at the same rate. So I don't have to worry about lowering the opacity of one and going back and lowering the next one uh, like that. So it's really easy to keep things organized. You know all your shadows are right there in that folder. Let me uh, drop back here to where I was before. Let's say another way you could do it is you could organize it by model. Like I want all of her layers in one place. Her and her drop shadow. So I'd say okay if I look over here Here's one. I'm going to command click. Now I've got both of her layers of the person highlighted. Then I'm going to go up and pick her drop shadow. Now I've got all three of these selected. I'm going to drag down to the folder. you got to make sure you don't accidentally hit that one or it copies everything. And then I would call this one um, right. And I would know that's the person on the right. So now when I drag, her drop shadow moves with her. So then I can reposition her wherever I want her and I don't have to worry about changing the drop shadow. So I could do that for each of the people, have them each in their own folder and uh, move them around like that. So it really is a great way to keep organized um, by keeping stuff, especially when you've got a lot of things, uh, one layer, for example, if the background is made up of a whole bunch of layers, put them all in one folder together and call it background. And you can always pull stuff out if you decide, you know what, I need that shadow out of there. You can just drag the shadow back out and, and then the shadow is independent again. But uh, it really is handy to keep stuff in folders like that, uh, especially when you get some of these files going and it's running off your screen. It helps if you can condense some of them into folders. So anyways, I hope that helps. Give groups a try, and I think you will find it helps you keep a little more organized. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know, and I hope to check back for more tutorials. Thanks. Bye-bye.